For some of us, it's a post-Thanksgiving tradition. A day or two after the delicious dinner, you bust out the Christmas decorations and deck the halls. Seeing your space sparkling for the season is every bit magical, isn't it? Well, staff at the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art, Salisbury University think so, and that's why they host their yearly tradition of decking the pond and you are invited this Saturday and that's not the only special event for the season here to tell us more now is education director this is Brenda Miller thank you for being here thank you for having me all right deck the pond tell yeah. us everything about it yeah so deck the pond um, actually came about for the first time last year um, and it's our time for families and kids to come and uh, create nature friendly ornaments that we then use to decorate the nature trail outside of the Ward Museum uh, so it's just a, a fun way to kind of ring in the, the new uh, winter holidays. So why is it important to have the trail decorated for the winter? We're really just uh, trying to get into a festive spirit, but also kind of uh, still have a little piece of environmental education in there about um, getting people familiar with uh, with nature and uh, just, yeah, just have a fun time with it. So it's a fun event. It's an educational event and it's free. Yes. Yes, it is a free event uh, from 10 to 1, um, and uh, families are welcome to drop by at any time during that time. All right, so that is, uh, that's one thing, deck the, the pond. Yes. The other thing, Winter Wonderland happening December 17th. Tell yes. us about that one. So Winter Wonderland is our event that's uh, been going on for a longer period of time, uh, but this is really our big winter holiday celebration. So we'll be hosting lots of different um, activities for families and kids, um, a variety of crafts. We'll be uh, hosting uh, performances by Dan Dan, studios um, as well as the puppet company uh, so yeah lots of really fun things to look forward to and that's an also a free event um, mm. and that'll be from 10 to 2 on the 17th now this is you could get some help with this one with other organizations we do yes so uh, winter wonderland is part of our bigger uh, drop-in art program which is uh, very generously sponsored by the Susan Kathleen Black Foundation and can you tell us a little bit more about that yeah so um, our drop-in art program which the Susan Kathleen Black Foundation funds uh, uh, through a very nice grant uh, is our regular monthly program um, that's really meant to just connect people with um, artistic traditions uh, usually through a local artist to promote their own craft and uh, just give people an opportunity to try something new and be able to take home something for the event. You know the Ward Museum has always been wonderful about connecting the community with different organizations uh, throughout. Um, why do you think that's important to engage the community like that? I mean, without the community, we wouldn't really have a museum, would we? No. <laughs> but um, yeah, no. Um, connecting with uh, audiences of all backgrounds is something that's very important to us. It's also very important to me personally. Um, yeah, that's uh, one of our priorities as a museum is really just to form those connections, and it's really a, a very integral part of our mission. Um, so yeah, we're always looking for those opportunities to do so. All right, a lot going on. Let's recap the dates and times. The first one is decorate the or deck the pond. Yes, <laughs> deck the pond is this Saturday, the third, uh, from ten a.m. to 1 p.m. and then Winter Wonderland is on December 17th. That's also Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So much fun and it's all free. Brenda Miller with the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art, Salisbury University. Thank you so much. Thank you.